With the purchase of Quinlan Brothers by Royal Greenland, the country of Greenland, for all intents and purposes, has become the largest processor in Newfoundland and Labrador. That's bad news for our inshore harvesters and plant workers. It's now up to the Minister of Fisheries, Forestry and Agriculture to take action to protect the people of rural Newfoundland and Labrador from the consequences of this bad decision. Royal Greenland currently employs some 2,300 of our province's 5,000 to 6,000 plant workers. But Royal Greenland has made it clear where its loyalties lie. Its decision to lock out our harvesters for most of the shrimp season last summer to take care of its own harvesters back in Greenland made it crystal clear that our workers would take a back seat. Even before Royal Greenland bought Quinlan Brothers, the processing sector in this province was already heavily concentrated in the hands of a few owners. This latest move has reduced competition to levels not seen since the fish merchants. Imagine what our people will be up against with even less competition. Now we have only three companies controlling most of our fish processing sector. This concentration of corporate control and lack of competition will ensure prices for fish harvesters and wages for plant workers suffer. They're called controlling agreements, the single biggest threat to our inshore harvesters. Here's how they work. Let's look at a case where an inshore harvester can't afford a license and a processor wants a secure supply of raw materials. So that processor pays for a license in the name of that inshore harvester. In effect, the processor would own the license but hide behind the name of the harvester. The processor would then control when the license is fished, who fishes it, which boat is used, and how much the harvester is paid. These controlling agreements have been a clear violation since 1979, when the fleet separation policy was introduced. That policy says that processors cannot own inshore licenses. Federal Fisheries has failed to combat these agreements effectively. The federal government finally made them illegal, but processing companies have had years of practice skirting government rules on inshore fishing licenses. Quinlan Brothers, now owned by Greenland, was well known to have many controlling agreements already in place. In fact, it was the only company to challenge fleet separation in court. It made appeals all the way to the Supreme Court of Canada, losing every step along the way. So despite the new law, this great threat to our inshore harvesters is still very much in play. Our next installment talks about what the Minister of Fisheries must do to protect our inshore harvesters and plant workers and our rural way of life.